Hello everyone, my name is Naren, and today I'm going to be making a video on how to download and install Skyrim mods off of Nexus. For this particular one, I'm going to be using installing the Scarlet Dawn Armor, the CBBE version, by Bloodfree. And as you can see, it's a little bit revealing in the boob area, but it kind of reminds me of Little Red Riding Hood. So, okay, so first thing you're going to do, if you go to a uh, page like this, you are actually going to be taken to the description, which is going to be all, everything about this armor or whatever it is you're downloading. What you're actually going to need, though, is you're either going to need to click Download Manual right here or Files right here. Normally you get a whole list of files that are usually updates that the person has done throughout time and updating it and so on and so forth and you can take your pick. Occasionally armor ones will have optional files like make the armor black or blue or green. Um, in this case though, um, for example, because I have a CBBE body, this is the one I need, the CBBE. And instead of clicking Manager, Download with Manager, you're going to click Daniel, Download Manually, which is obviously right next to it. This is basically because, for, those, for uh, those of you who don't have the Nexus Mod Manager, um, so you click that. And then this will pop up right here and ask you where you want to save it. Um, I have actually already saved this file onto my desktop, so um, but that's where you guys save it to. You can just ignore that and close it. And for now, that's actually all you need off of um, Nexus. Now, uh, for those of you who... Uh, do not have a Windows 8 or do not have a computer that comes with 7-zip like mine kind of did. Um, there are plenty of programs online to that you can either download or use for free on the internet that will deal with this next part of unzipping the file for you. This particular one is a RAR file and when you unzip it, be it on your computer or on the internet, you're going to find a data folder. And if you get it off the internet, you're going to want to save it. Just save that entire folder. And bring it onto your desktop. From there, you're going to open your computer. Uh, usually, it's in Windows C. You're going to need to go into Program Files, the usually times 86 and head down to your Steam program. Well, once in Steam, there's a whole lot of files, and you're looking for Steam apps right there. From there, you go into Common, and Skyrim, and Data. And basically, in here is every single mod you have ever downloaded, for the most part. At least anything that affects like armors or something like that. Okay, now back to this little data file folder right here. When you open it, you should get three files meshes, textures, and one that's usually labeled something like this one is that ends with ESP. Well, what you're going to want to do with these is copy all three of these and simply drag them over into your data file. And in this case, uh, I'm gonna just keep both of those for safety purposes. <laughs> Don't know what I'd be deleting otherwise. But um, that's it. Once you get that done, uh, your game, well, your mod is basically ready to go. The only only last thing to do is start up the game like this and make sure that the uh, mod is actually checked off, which this one actually is automatically. 
and you are good to go on your game and on your new mod. Enjoy!